Okay, my loves, here we are starting with a foundation row of 18 double crochets. If you don't like the foundation double crochets or the foundation stitches, you can do, I believe it would be chain 20 and then double crochet in the third chain from the hook and then 17 double crochets to the end. But we want a total of 18 double crochets to start off. So I've done that pre you know at the beginning so what we're gonna do now is we want to make a circle so I'm gonna take this let me take my hook off so you can see what I'm gonna do okay I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna fold it in half okay my loop is on the outside this one is towards the front I'm gonna come back over here and in this chain three where you start your foundation cup that's the very first one I'm gonna go into the top of it grab both those loops okay then I'm gonna grab my working loop and I'm gonna pull that tight. See how I've got that there? And then I'm just gonna kinda like slip stitch, just pull it through, okay? That, that makes your ring. Now chain one to really seal that, okay? So now I'm at the front. You see this part right here? What we do to finish that off is you can get your tapestry needle or I just use my hook. I go into the bottom of that first one grab that little tail pull it through okay and then you can come in with your tapestry needle afterwards and really seal that but just to get it out of my way I'm going to just kind of cinch that down a little bit so that closes your ring up okay now to get started we are gonna start with the cuff and so I've got let me get to my beginning here get that tail out of the way Okay, so I'm at my first stitch right here, and I've got my chain one, and then I am going to double crochet right back into that same stitch. So I am going to yarn over and into that same stitch, I'm gonna do a double. Ooh, it's a little tight. Okay, so there's my starting, to pulled it right off the hook. <laughs> Sorry, it's hot, I'm grouchy. <laughs> I'm not grouchy. It's just hot. Okay, so there's my double. Sorry about that. Okay, and then the next one, and see, jump over there. We're gonna do a front post. Let's see if I can get my yarn here. There's your front post double. Then in the next one, we are going to do just a regular old double, and repeat that all the way around. Some of this over here. Okay, so in the next one, we're gonna do front post. I can't see what I'm doing here. I'm trying not to pay attention to the camera. It's your double into the next one on the front. Oops, front post. This yarn has really got a huge halo on it. <laughs> okay, and then, oops, front post into the next. We're just going to do that all the way around, and I'll just stay with you. So I got something in here. So I had to pull those apart. got my camera set up having a hard time seeing my work okay I can see now see that one didn't go I don't like how that let me do that one over
little lo-fi girl playing in the background for them quiet moments. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it. But if you can, it's lo-fi girl. And the very last, so I'm at the last one. Our last stitch is going to be a front post. And then here is the first double. And we're going to go right into the top of it. And slip stitch. I have to tighten that down a little bit. Okay, then we're going to chain two. And into that same stitch, we're going to do another round of that. So we're going to do, oops, I'm all tangled. What happened? <laughs> we're going to do double, front post double, front post double, all the way around. So you want to front post around the previous front post. They're all going to line up. We're making our cuff. And at the end, you should have 18 stitches all together. And we'll check. We'll do a stitch check at the end here. should be to our last front post. Gonna end on a front post double every time on this cuff. And then remember, don't mess with your chain two. You wanna come over here to the double and go in and slip stitch into the top of that. I like to use that double crochet to help, with, or the, the chain two to help with the hole that's there. Okay, so we're gonna chain up two again and we're gonna do that one more time. Double. And I'm just going to be quiet and I'm going to just burn through this real fast so you can see what I'm doing. I'm not the only one that does that. When I, I find myself, I get nervous and I start, the, like the hook gets caught up and jumps off the hook, I drop it, all of it. Just don't be nervous. Tell myself, I don't want to be nervous. All right, so we're coming around back to the beginning. I think I'm almost there. And I'm coming to, the, let's see, I got, I think, two more stitches left. There's a front post. Yep, we've got a double. And then our last stitch is that front post. And we are going to, like I said, remember, ignore the chain two come directly to the double and slip stitch into the top. Okay, and we're gonna chain one. And what and we're gonna are... do for two rounds is back post, or back post, back loop, single crochet. So into that back loop, we're gonna do a single crochet. And, to, and we're gonna do that all the way around. So this is a nice time to take um, a row count to make sure that you have 18 stitches and so we're going to go all the way around okay so I'll meet you back ready set go all 
right, so I made it back around to the beginning. I'm on my second row. You can see how it makes this beautiful little um, parallel lines. And I'm back at the beginning. So this is stitch 18. And I wanna make sure that this is where I used to always get messed up when I was a beginner, okay? So I'm in my last 18th stitch, but then there's this little thing right here that a lot of people think that that is the last stitch, but what that actually is, and you can see, it's the slip stitch that goes into the stitch before, and then here's your chain one, and then here is the stitch that we want. So it almost looks like there's three stitches there, but there's not. That is the slip stitch, that is the chain one, and then here is, right here is the top of the single crochet. So you see that, there's the slip stitch, there is the chain one, and then there is the top of your single crochet, okay? So if you do that and you count, we have 18 stitches. Okay, so now we are gonna get into the nubbly stitch. So we are going to chain one and turn, okay? Now you can just work with it like this, working in the inside of the work, or you can actually flip this inside out when you're doing this one. It doesn't matter, whatever's more comfortable for you. But, so what we're gonna do is here, and in the first stitch, as you can see where that is coming out of, we are going to do a single crochet, okay? So we have that single crochet, and then here is the next, not this little thing here. You don't wanna go into that. That's just part of the, the, the slip stitch. You wanna go into the first, one right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna yarn over, and on this stitch, I do an extended double crochet, which is pull up a loop, you're gonna pull through one, then you're gonna pull through two, and pull through two. So it's like we're just putting in a, oops, an extra yarn over into, into that. So you can either use a treble here, or you can use my extended double. I like the extended double, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and flip that over so it makes it easier to see. Now in the next stitch, we are going to do a single crochet. Okay, I like to pull that a little bit. Yarn over, and then we're gonna do an extended double. Okay, and then a single into the next. And see what it's gonna do? Is it makes these cute little nubbly stitches that, that don't really catch on stuff like puff stitches do. Uh, when I first found this stitch, it was called a mock bobble. Yarn over and let's do an extended. Um, but she used trebles and then she uses single crochet rows in between them. And uh, Mikey from Crochet Crowd also does one. He calls it a nubbly stitch as well. Um, or faux bobble, whichever you want to call it. I call it nubbly. And a double and we're gonna do this all the way around you should end on an extended double See here, I'm at my last one. Okay, I'm on my extended double. And now, now remember, that is not a stitch right there. You can see where we worked into it already. So that is, that is going to be our single crochet. Let me see where I'm at here. There's your extended double, the single crochet. Oop, that one's a little tight. Get out of there, Let's get in there again. I may have to get out a club. Oh, no, I got it. Okay, so now we're gonna slip stitch into that one. Now let's flip our thing back inside out, chain one and turn. And so you can see all those little beautiful little nubblies. Now the next three rows are going to be single crochet rows. So here I've got my chain one and I'm gonna single crochet right back into that same stitch. Make sure 
so that one's not as tight. Okay, and then the next is our double is our nubbly. And then so there should be 18 stitches all the way around. Okay, so let's do that three times. We're gonna do three rows of single crochets. And each time your row count will not change. You will always have 18 single crochets. Okay, so let's do that three times and I'll meet you back at the beginning when we finish those. All right, ready, set, go. Okay, I'm back now. <laughs> All right, so I've slip stitched into the top of the first single crochet and let's take her off and look at her. <laughs> this is so fun. Okay, so you see how, the, I love that. That is so cute. And then there's our nubblies. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, let me get one of the completed ones over here. So you can see how this is coming along. This is like right here. So what I would like to do now is I would like for you guys to repeat, flip it over so you can see where the thumb hole is. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, so I would like for you guys to repeat this one, two more times, okay? So our repeat is the single crochets three times, so three rows of single crochets, and the nubblies, single crochets, and then I want you to end on a nubbly. So once you have three rows of the nubblies, I'll meet you back. Ready, set, go. All right, here we go. Now we've got our three, and I ended with a nubbly row. Now we're gonna make our thumb. Um, what I like to do right now is let's pull up a big loop like that, put a stitch marker there, whatever you need to do, and slide it on. Now, I have really, really small wrists. So, mind you, this pattern right here is done for a smaller hand. Um, so, if you want to make it bigger, you don't have to really change anything. Just hook up. Like, I'm using a J with a four weight. Go up to a K if you want it bigger. Um, I think this measures like, well, I'll measure it when I take it off. But I like to put it here and this, you know, it sits nicely, your cuff. You don't want this to come up too far. You want this to be nice and um, loose. It's not like it's being pulled or, you know, like if it was taut like that, it's, it's too small. You need to hook up. You want it to kind of be floofy because then the single crochets will pull and it makes them floof even more. Okay, so I just kind of put, give her a little push like that and see if it feels nice around the wrist. And now we know this is where we're gonna wanna do our thumb. So when I was designing this, that's exactly what I did. I like hand shook myself. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Love you. And um, kind of measured so I can see there's one, two, three nubblies in, in in between my fingers okay so you can measure directly with your handy dandy or do what I just did okay so I'm starting right here and that's where I put my thumb because it just was easier to throw it up there so here is my three nubbly so I know that that's what I'm aiming for so let's get her going okay <laughs> I gotta stop and look at her every once in a while Dagum, dagum. So pretty. Thank you, Diane. <laughs> that is uh, lovestitchesall.com. Beautiful resin hooks. And you can get clover tips too. Okay, so one, two, five, ten. We are going to do a single crochet into that first one. So I have my chain one. And right here, let's put in a single crochet. This is just going to help with the base. We don't want that to be too tight either. I always make my first single crochet too tight and then it's hard to work in. Okay, so I have my first single crochet. Now I am going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then don't do that too tight, but then don't do it too loose. You, you got to just have a, a just perfect tension, I guess, which I don't. So try to make that consistent. Um, so here we go, one, two, three. And in that single crochet, because it just makes it um, a little more stable, I'm gonna single crochet right there. 
okay and then now I'm gonna single crochet all the way around and the rest of the stitches okay I'm gonna meet you over there I'm gonna try to make this a little shorter I think you guys can do that I mean you can see pretty well okay see you in a minute ready set go okay I'm back now I'm here at the end <coughs> excuse me and right here it's it's a little because it's kind of a, called a standing single crochet it's kind of hard to see so you can just kind of pull that open a little bit you you can see where to go come on now let's see yep I see it <laughs> we are going to slip stitch in that bad boy okay now let's chain up one now we're gonna go we're gonna do some increases now so I need to go we're gonna do just one single crochet right there in our first stitch and then oh I must have bumped this sorry let me fix that sorry about that and then let's see into this chain into our big chain space we are going to do some singles let's do four of them no we need more than four we need eight <laughs> so one two three four five six Okay, and then we're here to that first single. We're gonna go right into it and then go all the way around. Get the rest with singles. So it's just like a normal single crochet row, but we threw in our little thumb hole. <coughs> Excuse me. I had bumped my camera and now I've got a weird angle sorry guys I'll fix that on the next ready set go here in a minute because yeah my angle's really off okay there's the end remember slip stitch chain one into the top slip stitch hey One thing, if you're ever having a trouble getting into a stitch, say like you, you want to get into this stitch right here, sometimes just to pull up just a little bit and angle your hook really helps <clears throat> to get through those tight stitches. Okay, so I just did my slip stitch. So let's count them. That's our last one right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So now we have 21 stitches. So we went from 18 to 21. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So now give me, please, if you may. Let's see where we, we need one more. Yeah. Forgot I lost my place. So I need one more row of single crochets. All right. So do your chain up one, and then if you would please give me 21 single crochets all the way around, and I'll see you in un momento. Ready, okay. set, go. Here I am. And the last one, slip stitch, single crochet to the top of the. No, I said see, that's a sti slip stitch and then a chain one and then into the top of the single crochet. <laughs> Sometimes our language. All right, so now where are we at? We're at a nubbly. So let's chain and turn. I did my angle weird again. I forgot to fix my camera. Okay, so there's our chain one and into the first stitch we are doing our single crochet into the next what is it extended double 
extended double single see my angle got all crazy what was that okay next one extended double so we're gonna just do our nubbly thing all the way around and now this is an a place after this nubbly if you want something shorter that just literally comes to your knuckles you you could stop here and then you could skip to when we put on the fur or you could leave it the nubbly makes a really cool little um, edge so I'm gonna uh, ready set go and meet you at the next to last and I'll do the slip stitch with you as um I just feel like you know you guys can do this part I mean I could sit here and make this video really long but I don't know let me don't know down in the comments do you like it when when tutorials just film the entire project or do you mind when we jump to the end and like have you guys do stuff on your own let me know I'm really curious cuz I want to know for real <laughs> All right, ready, set, go. Okay, here I am. Extended double. So what are we doing? We're single, no, we're slip stitching into that first. Give me a chain one and turn. We're going back to the front side. And now all we need to do here is, like I said, if you wanna stop, that was a perfect little, this is a perfect little um, segment to stop if you want them to just hit at your knuckles like you still want your knuckles out maybe this is just you know for your to keep your wrists um and your palm but i'm gonna do another row of i say I keep saying another row another segment of single crochets and then we're gonna do the same little edging that we did down here we're gonna do up there and then i'll show you how to put on fur if you want fur okay so hold on ready set go. okay I'm back I did one two three rows of singles <laughs> now we're gonna do two rows of back loop singles so chain up one and don't make sure that you don't miss it that one right there that's your single get in there with your bad self single back loop Okay, I don't know if you guys need me for this. Do you need me for this? I don't know. Ready, set, go. Just go. Just go. Okay, <laughs> so I did my three rows of singles and then I did two rows of back loop singles. And this is another place where you can stop. Again, you just have to see what you like best. I mean, some people, oops, let's get that on there, right? Sorry, guys. <clears throat> some people just like to have a little bit of their fingers hanging out sometimes you want more um, now like I said I am gonna also put um, a row of fur because I love my fur but see how it makes that little like you did down here all right so let's get some fur I'll be right back okay, here I am so what I have here is some go for faux lion brand sparkle and this stuff is kind of cool. At first I was like, I don't know. Is that gonna be like scratchy? It's, hold on, let me get my end here. It's, is it gonna be scratchy? Cause you know, at first, let me get close. I thought all that little sparkle, it's almost like it's paint on the tip of the, the really yummy fur. But I like this one, this, the gopher faux because it's it's like a ribbon so it makes it a lot easier to work with and it's short it's the short shorter pill whereas like this is the yarn bee one I like it too see it's more eyelashy and not as thick so this one um, I like to use more for hair and stuff but this um, with this little this is short and it's floofy it, it just makes a really nice this one is also the go for faux and you can see that ribbon and that one is blue I thought it was really cool because it makes that little blue little peekaboos in between and it's 
It's like silk. So soft. Smooth is satin, not silk. Because I don't know about you, but a lot of the silk I find is not soft. <laughs> so satin. All right, so what I did is I got, I hooked up to a K. I didn't want to go much, much bigger than that because it'll really um, be hard to get into your stitches. So I just put a slip knot on here and I'm going to come back and keeping in where I was left off. I'm just going to go into the stitch that is right before my little tail. And we're just going to do, oh, let me tighten that a little bit. That's a little, was a little loose. Okay, so we're just gonna slip stitch that. I kind of like to give it a little tug to make that first little thing a little tighter, okay? And then let's do a chain one, just a simple chain one. And then you can see where it's pulling. It's easier to see your stitch there. So let's do a single crochet there. Now you gotta do it kind of, oops. You got to do it kind of loose because I didn't mean to pull that through there um, because it will pull so and it'll make it harder to get through that that loop. OK, so now <clears throat> we're going to go over here and this is where my little tail was. I'm just going to kind of push that out of the way and you can see where that stitch was coming out of. We're just going to do a single crochet in there. And make her loose and now we're gonna do a single crochet in every single stitch really watch your tension on this one because if you hold that tension too tight it's it's gonna be yucky okay so really loose <clears throat> into every stitch now this fur I prefer just to do one row of it but you can do an additional row. I wouldn't do more than two rows of it because it just, that'd be way too much around your palm. Oops. Had a... <laughs> there was a knot. Okay, I was like, what do I got? But it doesn't even matter. See, I see that knot. You see the knot right there? I just pull that right till it's to the back of the work and then go like that, and you will never even know that bad boy was there, okay? So I'm still going. I'm just gonna stay with you. I'm almost there. I'm gonna go a little faster. Skirt! <laughs> I'm almost there. As I'm doing this, I look up and I got Granny D playing in the background. <clears throat> Somebody just wants some stitch mockers. Okay, here I am. I'm at the beginning. And this is where people get really put off by fur because you, you, it's really hard to say, where do I go? But I'm going to show you, okay? You can feel where in between those stitches are and just go right up above it. You can see that. And just go right below it. Give it a little wiggle. Slip stitch. Pull it up. And there's a little fur edge. And then you can do the same thing down here. Let's go ahead and do it. Where's my handy dandy? Handy dandy. I don't need to waste very much of this because to sew these ends in, it's not, you don't have to do too much because the fur really keeps it from wiggling, you know, wiggling itself out. Don't pull too hard because you'll snap that right off. Let's come over here. Do the same, do the same. And this is also where we're going to fix, we're going to fix where I told you at the bottom of that where we had just kind of strung that through. So kind of just pull that tight. You can see where it's nice and tight. And I'm going to go in right behind it. 
slip stitch, pull that a little tight, chain one, and then that same one. Now here, I wanna hold my tail. Here's my little tail. Make sure that stays tight. I kinda hold it with my finger. And then come back over here where I slip stitched into that and give me a single crochet, okay? Now again, holding that little tail tight, I am going to jump over here to that single crochet and go right over the top of that tail at the same time. That anchors it. You don't have to do anything, okay? Now sewing in, just go right over the top of it. Okay. I'll just stay with you. This one's pretty simple. Get that tail out of the way. I'll cut that off in a minute. But yeah, when you jump, when you start behind that that stitch and then you jump over it to the first single crochet, it it makes it so you don't have to do anything with it. It locks it down. My fur holds it in place. Because who doesn't like a little fur? I remember I always wondered, what am I going to do with that? You can, I mean, yeah, to try to do a sweater and fur. Yeah, no, no, no. That would be so heavy. This is like for edges. And um, I also like to put it in between things. You know, like, a, like I'll do a single crochet row of this and a scarf in between colors to like break up to break up busy yarns and stuff, and then it gives it that texture and that yumminess get into my neck time. I just slip stitch that. I do like to give it a little chain one and then pull that through. And then I'll weave in my ends. I don't have to do that with you guys. But I like to just give her a little pull, you know, pull her a little bit. With all crocheted stuff, you gotta pull on it a little bit. And get there. Haha, <laughs> fur! And just pull it around a little bit. That's that. Where my. I can fix that. Or you won't see that. See? I just had to tweak it a little bit. You just had to pull on that. And then there around that edge. Pretty birdies! Oh, and I don't think you guys can see it, but right there, the little sparkles. <laughs> it's really cute so I'll do the second one just replay this for the second one see it works it works either hand either hand reversible so you don't have to go um which one's my right hand what's my left hand it doesn't matter <laughs> so there you go this is be united fingerless gloves and i hope you guys enjoyed that and were able to follow it you know i really uh would like to emphasize again that you know my patterns and my tutorials are recipes please they're just for guides you know i am not a professional designer by any means i am still a beginner so i appreciate your patience i appreciate all of you guys that have been trying my patterns, um, stay tuned. A revised version of Hugs Are Free Shawl is coming back out. I reworked the pattern. I put uh, picture tutorials in it, so that'll be fun. But so this, like I said, has a companion beanie. Uh, you can check that out. I have, I will have a free printable PDF for the gloves and for the Be United beanie. Um, there was also a tutorial for the Be United Beanie, so it matches, matching set, and send your, your matching sets to Rose Likes Crochet for September 2022 wings. Uh, let's see. I think that's it, guys. It's been fun. All right. You know what to do. Love someone, kiss someone, hug someone, and I look forward to making beautiful things together. Bye.